Yeah. All right. Uh, nice to meet you. Great song. You. Um, came about because of a chance meeting I read. Tell us about that and what happened. Yeah, um, we were just both in the same studio. Uh, I was actually writing the new True Stepper track, and Victoria was in there doing the Spice Girl album. Um, basically, all we had was, was basically a backing track, and I grabbed Victoria and said, look, do you want to come and have a listen to this? Grabbed sort of you by the neck. Grabbed her, picked her up, threw her over in the studio and said, do you, know, do you want to write this track with me? And, um, it, you know, we, we got in there and we done it in a week, I think, mm. pretty much. So you were a fan, obviously, of the previous yeah. things. Yeah, I mean, I loved the song that he did beforehand. Yeah, a bit of that. <laughs> you know, I loved the last track and, you know, I loved this style of music and for me it was just something different. So, yeah, I mean, I loved it instantly. I thought it was fantastic. Mm. And you wrote this together? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you find that, Victoria, writing this? A, a different, you know, kind of... With a different partner. Good. I mean, I think that, you know, Dave's got some fantastic melody ideas and some great lyric ideas. And there was just, you know, I just wanted to put my little tiny sprinkle of, you know, pop on there. Um, and yeah, no, it was no, good. It worked really well. I mean, that's, I think that's the whole appeal about the track. You know, it's got the real raw underground element to it. And then, you know, what we've put on it, which is really soulful and pop at the same time. It's, mm. Well, we pop and soul, aren't we? Yeah, we're not rock and roll, pop and soul. <laughs> quite a good combination there. Yeah, yeah. Now, when I heard it, I was quite surprised because your voice is very exposed. I mean, you're right mm. there. You can. It's very strong. Different, yeah. Very different. <laughs> um, how did you feel about that? Did you feel exposed? And no, not at all. I mean, obviously, it was nerve-wracking, the first thing I've done um, on my own. But, I mean, it was great. I was very scared, though. The first day that I met up with Dane and Andy and, and Johnny, I was quite, yeah, I was scared. It was the first thing that I'd done on my own, but... No, it was um, it was good fun, and mm. I liked the song, and yeah. Mm. Did you miss the group experience? Definitely. Yeah, uh, yeah no, it's, it's, but when I, when I got the track, actually, I played it to all of them, and I was like on the phone to Manly B saying, what do you think of this? You know, do you like it? So that's a good thing about still being in a group, but you're doing your own thing, is, you know, you get the support of all your friends around you. Mm. Mm. Now, what were you looking for? I mean, there's a lot of talk about what you're going to do with your solo career, and mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of people thought, oh, she's going to be big, big Big ballads and all yeah. this kind of stuff. Ballads and a long dress. But yeah. I think everybody thought that's what you would go for, yeah. that, that you'd have the spotlight and all this kind of business. But what were you looking for? Well, I mean, I've been working on my own album for the last four or five months now. Um, and I hadn't actually planned on bringing out anything until my album was ready. So next year I was looking at releasing something. But when I heard this track, I just, you know, I love the song. You know, I like the collaboration. Um, I love the people involved and it just appealed to me because I thought this is something different but something that I'm really into mm. and so I hadn't planned on doing anything like this until I heard the song. Mm. Are you a dance music fan? Because this yeah. is dancey. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Which again is I think people think probably yeah. quite a surprise. I mean, what kind of stuff do you listen to? I like a lot of dance music um, but I've never actually thought of doing anything like that before. Mm. So that's another reason why it interested me. Mm. And Dane, what's Victoria like as a collaborator? I mean, you're doing lots of this, this new kind I've of collaboration. I've had enough of her now, to be honest. So, no, it's great. I mean, to be honest, I think the best thing about it was literally that it is our project. Um, you know, we went in there, we wrote it ourselves. Um, we've been very, very, um, you know, basically into everything we've done. You know, every, everyone around us is, is who we want to be, um, you know, working with. And I think, you know, this, it's just been easy for us because we've had fun with it and, you know, we just haven't really let anything stop us. We've just, you know, gone with the flow and it's worked out really well. Mm. I think it would have been easy for us to do the song and then say, OK, that's it. You know, people are yeah. actually quite surprised that we want to promote it. You know, we know that we want dancers and we said exactly what we wanted the video to be like. So people are quite surprised at how hands-on we are. Mm. Mm. But that's not what you're used to. Is that just because you're used to that? Or? Yeah, I think both of us, you know, mm. we really visualised this. We knew what we wanted. Mm. And we both said that we're not going to do this unless we put in 110%. Because mm. um, it's so important to us. Mm. Now, I haven't seen the video. It's not ready yet. But tell us what, what's going to what, what be like. What, what we can expect. Um, we're actually really excited about it. It was a great shoot. Um, it's very futuristic. It's kind of a, a Matrix kind of vibe going on. Um, in the video, we do some dancing and some sort of fighting and mm. some mad stuff. So, I mean, we're really looking forward to it. It's very futuristic, but, you know, we don't really want to give her any more than that. Mm. I think it's great, though, with a video, you know, that's the one opportunity you get to completely, you know, kind of completely accentuate your character. So, you know, we've got strong characters. Mm, and definitely. Mm. Do you enjoy making videos? Yeah, it was good yeah. fun actually. But mm. Dane had no. a better Winnie Bago than me. I was really not happy about it. And I don't know if it's because it's his record company or exactly what it is. <laughs> so you're now the, you've become the employee. Really. No, no. I'm no. She's been getting everything 
better than me. Apart no, from this but the day. Winnie Bago, you had a better okay, Winnie. Okay, no, He had like cool. nice blue carpet and it matches the sofa and mine was brown. <laughs> 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 Horrible. <laughs> did you complain? No, to I the didn't. the management? I didn't. No, I, bet, I didn't. I bet she did though. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm very easy to work with. No, it was it was very hard shooting. It was very long, but you know we you know we got through it. Mm. Now, Victoria, with your story of career again, it's again it's very unexpected. I think that's what everybody's going to mm. think when they see it and when they see you perform and hear the song. Is that important to you? An element of surprise? Um, I wouldn't say. Well, I mean, is it important? Is it important? It's nice. I don't, I don't think it's ever important. Um, I don't think you've really got anything to prove, but you know, if people, if it's something else to talk about, great. Um, you know, I mean, I, I personally, if, you know, if I didn't know Victoria, I wouldn't expect this to be her next release. But you know, the fact that it is, it really is proving a lot because you know her voice sounds great on the track. Um, you know, everything around it is great. The video, I mean, you're re you know really involved with the dancing and stuff, and it's just, it's literally a whole package where you can look at it and say, literally, she's not bringing an album out off the back of Spice Girls. She's doing a solo album. It's actually going to work as a solo album. Mm. But I think in England, we really like to pigeonhole people. Mm. You know, like you said, the ballad and the long dress. At some point, there will be a ballad and a long dress, mm. but not just yet. Because mm. so that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't ask you that. I should ask you that. Did you feel you had that sense of something to prove? Because I think everyone expected me and David to come out with a duet like Kylie and Jason, to be honest with you. Uh, so no, of course it's appealing, the fact people are saying, goodness, I didn't mm. expect you to do a track like that. Mm. And also, I suppose, with, with the Spice Girl and everything, I mean, everybody knew you were the great dancer, mm. you look great, but people would say, but she hasn't got the strongest voice. Mm. But I think, again, mm. it's... Um, yeah, I mean, I've never, ever, you know, pretended to be the strongest singer on earth or the strongest dancer on earth or anything, but then I think, you know, it's the whole package, you know. It's about breaking it? down barriers. I mean, mm -hmm. music nowadays, to be honest, you know, in some ways, isn't about how talented a lot of people are in the charts. But this is actually showing talent and still doing something different and interesting. And it's just breaking moulds now. I mean, music is changing. Um, mm. And we don't just have our pop artists and our rock and roll artists anymore. There are you know, loads of different types of music. And mm. people are venturing into that and just, and just showing people they can be done. Yeah. Does this, is this an indication of what we can expect from your album? No. I mean, I might have some tracks like this on my album. It's not actually finished yet. But at the moment... You know, I thought, for my album, I stick to what I do best, really, and that's pop music. You know, um, I wouldn't say it's too far removed from what the Spice Girls have been doing, but maybe a bit more of a mature kind of sound, but still that sprinkle of pop that's really important to me. Mm. You know, there'll still be high heels and short skirts in there somewhere. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> 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 and are you, that's, you're still recording that, and how, yeah. how is that going? Is that really, well? really good, yeah. I mean, I'm hoping to have it out. Um, beginning to middle of next year. I just never want to rush anything. I never want to get involved with anything. I'm not going to put in 110%. So this is very, very important to me. And um, so I'm taking my time on it, but it will be good. Mm. What about your other, are you, are you involved in film? I know you, you yeah. I mean, what's going to happen then? Yeah, I mean, I've got projects that i am actually got in production myself at the moment, um, but nothing, you know, immediate. I've been offered lots of parts and things like that, but for me, it's so important. Like this track, I've waited this long to do this. It's just got to be the right thing, and I'll just keep waiting until the right thing does come along. But I'm just working on things myself, and mm. it's like a juggling act as well, being a mum. It's like. Well, know. I was going to say, how do you manage? I mean, you've got film interests, yeah. solo projects, obviously the work with the band, yeah. uh, as well as yeah. lots of the little yeah. things that are going yeah. on. How, how do you manage to deal with all of that? I, you know, I work, I do work very hard. I think some people think that. You know, all I do is go shopping down Bond Street every day, which would be very nice. But I do work very hard at what I do, and it's great. I, you know, my mum and David's mum help a lot out with Brooklyn, and I take them into the studio. And actually, Dane's mum and Dane's baby was in the studio actually the other day, and so was Brooklyn and, mm. and my mum. So it's nice. I, you know, I'll always set up a little crash. Family working environment. Yeah, I think that's the one thing to all the working mums out there. It is so hard. You know, when people ask what I've been doing for the last year. You know, mm. mums will understand what I've been doing, yeah. being busy. Are you enjoying though the the, the solo side of things? Oh, yeah, I do like it. I you know I enjoy it. It's it's different. It's been nice. It's kind of eased me in gently working on this project because I'm not just on my own. You know, I've got someone else there, so mm. it's it's been good. Mm. I th it would feel very lonely <coughs> if it was just you. Yeah, yeah I think so. What about uh, this one? Other things, modelling. 
because you probably did the big splash mm. last year. Is, are we going to... No, I mean, that was just, you know, something that... Maria Gratchfogel is a really good friend of mine, and she asked me to do the show, but that is not something that I would even... I just mm. didn't expect it to be like that. And I remember on the day saying, my goodness, what have I got to do? I've never even walked on a catwalk. And my mum said to me, listen, you've been walking for 25 years, you should have mastered it by now. And that was the only advice... But, but no, it's not something. It was, okay. it was just my way of saying to a friend, you know, she's she's been great to me, and yeah. so it's me trying to put something back in. And plus, she was, you know, she's a young up and coming designer, so mm. it's my way of putting something back into the mix, if you like. Mm. Is it important for you to, 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 you know, you do you do charity stuff mm. and you do this? Sort of Definitely, I think so many people, you know, they like to focus on the negative things, and I, you know, people say, you know, you don't do enough for charity, you don't give money away, you don't do this. I do a lot of things that a lot of people aren't actually aware of, but then I'm not going to use that for publicity. I do what I do, and yeah, I, I raise a lot of money, myself and David do, for a lot of charities. Um, and yeah, but I just do that and keep it quite low-key. Mm -hmm. Just, just one, one, one more question, yeah. yeah. Just um, about the... Oh, my head. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. My, uh, you know, the obsession that the press has with you mm -hmm. and your life and, you know, Dane as well. I mean, in, in the public eye, yeah. that, that happens. How do you cope with that? I think it can, it, you know, it can be hard. Obviously, everybody would like everybody to like, like them all the time, but that's not going to happen. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, what they think of you. I'd never sit here and say, poor me, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. And Actually, I'm a woman. I'm, a, I'm married with a baby. That makes me the luckiest woman mm. in the world. You know, fantastic family. Mm, Pardon? No. Well, <laughs> um, it, it can be hard, but at the end of the day, I remember... Um, doing interviews four years ago and needing the media so you, you know it's a kind of come you scrub my back I'll scrub yours kind of situation I'd never complain that's the way that it is um, I, I, I sometimes get angry when people say that I go out looking for publicity they say oh you go shopping to these shops because you know you'll get photographed or these restaurants it really doesn't make any difference if I go to Tesco's or Marks and Spencer's I get the same thing People always like to say that to be negative. I just kind of, that's just the way it is. Mm. Yeah, well, you cope with it very well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks very much. But mm. do you like the song? I do, I love it. I really, I was very yeah. surprised because I did think, mm. I, I'm not going to be able to hear your voice. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a kind of, and it's going to be more your yeah. voice. Mm. Yeah. It? But, and I was really quite surprised because it's right at the front. I mean, it's great. I it's really got a great like voice. It. Yeah, it. it's really good. He walks around singing all the time. Mm -hmm. I think all better than I'm me. not singing <laughs> on this record, really. Mm. Yes, I'll you are. The work this time. yes, you are. You sound fantastic on it. And you're going to be at, this isn't a question actually, but you're oh, going to yeah. be at, um, yeah, yeah, you can cut, at Party Material.